UFC against the person we fought. Um, and actually, that was a tough fight, I have to say. Uh, Dana White goes looking faster. For, sorry, for a fighter and finds Gary Green. Exciting news. 100, 203 views, 208 views. Wow, look at all these people looking at us. How exciting. Okay. UFC Minute. Hello. This is your UFC Minute. UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. Mm. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local heavyweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. Regional champion, are you sure? Thanks for coming. What your name was? <laughs> Dog tattoo, amazing. Okay, we've got commentators potentially. Oh, we need to find some walkout music. Well, with much fanfare, here he is making his UFC debut. He won his fight with the most important eyes watching on Dana White looking for a fight, and now he gets a shot in the big show. There will be jitters tonight. You got to think for any fighter making his UFC debut, they will experience some nerves. Not great stats. Had three fights, one, two, plus one. This guy is a very well rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. That's not true, Joe. I hate going to the ground. Unless they're almost already knocked out. Okay, here comes this dude. Just for the record, I am. Um, this isn't my rival. He has a world class Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game, and if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. Okay. We're going to try and keep it on the ground, keep it in the air. Hold on. Keep it keep it on our feet. Um, but my takedown defense is terrible. I haven't stopped one once. Um, this isn't our rival, this is the fight before our rival, I would guess. And wait. Buffer. He's just being kind. And wait. And oh, Bruce Buffer's here. That's us. Downtown. Okay. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Oh, it's Dan Mergliata. Mergliata, your referee. You ready? It's All right, fire. ready to go with live action here from Scotia Bank. Nothing. He doesn't want to touch gloves. All right, so here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut. Many of you saw his last fight on Dana White looking for a fight, and certainly got it done that night with flying colors. Now we'll see if his game translates to the big show. The fights get bigger, the spotlight gets bigger. Prevailing wisdom is this young man can handle. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick Ooh. to the body. The overhand left is true. Okay, we keep working that face. That's what we're going for. Whoa. Yeah, oh, these the are, what did you say about my mother punches? Huge left shot. Left hand there. Oh. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. 
really missed with that right hand. Hurt him with that Superman punch. Yes, the Superman punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well placed kick there by Green. Oh, nice. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh! Don't run away me forever, mate. Good defense there. And he lands the roundhouse. And he is bleeding over the left eye now. Hope it doesn't affect his vision. We are using a lot of stamina. No, 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 no. This is not what we wanted. We just need to get up. here on the ground staying busy strong bottom work here staying busy come on just get up we don't want to be in this oh so nice. an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position both men landing in that exchange <laughs> green's kick that one blocked he clipped green him. gets hit with a kick here that one landed flush let's see if he can make some adjustments Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, caught him there with the head. No guard whatsoever. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Connects there with the punch. Need to stop going for those haymakers. Nice. We had him in that round. We definitely had him. We should have. We should have finished it. And here's a nice shot. Lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. Good old Superman punch. I love it. And another perfectly placed strike. I love the fact that he says it in almost slow motion. Hey Dan, tell us when. Second round underway. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna want to move and avoid taking damage early. See, it's not just his speed; it's speed with proper technique, and that's one of the things that makes him so dangerous. And an arsenal of information when it comes to movement. Oh, he has mastered the range. Okay, okay, enough, 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 enough. Nice kick landed there by Green. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Ouch. Oh, Joe, that cut is getting worse. Rated R. Looking nasty now. Oh, that'll make Big it right impact on the judges. Huge right hand. We've got him up against the cage. Come on. God damn it. Ouch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at that nasty jab. Back and forth we go. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one Oh, two. God. Come on, come on. Yes, nice. He's, he's got the read of that Superman punch. And those kicks. Nice. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Green. Misses with the right hand. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Oh, he tagged him with the left. Come on, it's got to be it. It's got to be it, yes. 
The Superman punch is where he's at, for sure. What? What? What roundhouse kick? Are you watching something else? What kick? What are you talking about? Look, there is no... I didn't throw a single kick. I punched him in the face like three times. Look at all the blood. Holy crap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh, we did it. We got our first win in the UFC. We're the best. Oh, they feel silly. They've all come in the same hoodie. Congratulations to the UFC newcomer. Thanks, man. We don't know that badly beaten up again, which is nice. Isn't I mean, there wasn't that many people here to see it, truth be told. We threw a lot more punches than him to over double. Um, that's what I like to see. We're committed in the early rounds. I will say that. Look, we got things. We got things. Ugh. Yay. Woo, look at all the money. We're rich, everybody. Beyond our wildest dreams. One punch is all it takes. Nice, everyone seems pretty, pretty nice. Uh, the gen seems like a legit prospect. Can't wait for his next fight. Humbled. Hashtag humbled. That's me right now. Hashtag humbled. Okay, I guess we should have one more fight then, right? Brett Neal, what have you got? What have you got in your locker? We got a fight offer. Who's it from? Dayton Castillo. Elliot Bennett. Or Iger Schmitz. All of these are low. I think we're just going to go with this dude. 120, 121. This is the earliest one. Let's take this one. And we can go do a different gym, I guess, and do some kicking. That seems like a wise idea. What are these? So this is... Um, The skills on the map, just fighters who use the gym. Is there one like a wrestling? I don't want any of those. I want a, I want a kicking gym. Uh, that's what I want. Where do I learn how to kick jujitsu? Let's do this. Okay. Three weeks worth of training. Okay, we've got loads of cash in the bank. Great news for all of us involved. Okay. Let's just retire now. Um, let's learn. I want to learn. Mai Tai combos. Lead body crane kick. Dirty boxer. Throw five free strike combinations ending with a kick. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I probably can't do that. All right. Today's kickboxing. Three punches finished with a kick. You hear me? I want you to kick off that combo. Set up those kicks. Hey. Make it happen. Hey. Change it up. Hey. Set those kicks up. So they have to be a different one. Okay, let's try this again. So, one, one. Mix it up. Make something happen. You gotta throw more strikes or he's gonna see that kick coming. Come on. You gotta push there. Throwing that kick way too early. 
We did it. It took us a long while. Um, because we're not very good. Okay. Might I compose and dirty boxer trait. Okay, let's apply the moves. Let's see what the moves are, first of all. Uh, what have we got? Kicks. Okay. Please be a nice big kick to the face. Never going to be able to do that. Left trigger and right back. Okay, crane kick. Not great. I don't think I'll ever use it. Combos. I'm never going to learn these. Like Mortal Kombat. If you ever see any of these, it will just be... Um, be by accident all right everybody should be aware of that <laughs> and we want to apply our dirty boxing trait right what does it do increases power attribute by f two for punches and elbows in the clinch well i never do any of those um but does that count when i'm on uh, in the grapple on the on the floor i'm guessing not Okay. We did some uh, we did some learning though, everybody. We learned some stuff. We need to train. Deadlifts. Let's do some of those. Um double end bag drill. Nice. Is there anything in here? Pummels. We'll do some pummels. Nice. Okay. Week one done. I didn't do any, any promotion. We should do some promotion this time. Let's about my new moves. Nice. Spend some time on stream, obviously. Cack. Wrong button again. Do some more training. Um, treadmill? Seems like a wise idea, right? Quick shoots. Nice. Trap and strike. Is that all of the points we had? Okay, let's do some more training. We could do some learning, but I think we'll uh, we'll leave it to like one set of learning at a time. Uh, deadlift here, yeah, we'll do some of those. Is there a way to reply to that chump, Brett Neal? Who does he think he is? Look at me. There we go. We've done a little boomerang thing, or whatever they're called. A TikTok, I suppose. Okay, I think I need to do some sparring. Oh. Oh, we're not in great condition. There's not a huge hit hype about the fight. We're going straight into this, everybody. We'll go with our away national uh, shorts because we haven't got anything else to wear. It's a bit awkward. How bad is the gent? I think even I could beat him. Easy money. Now we're talking. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Okay, everybody, here we go. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter. And Was there a pop? The opponent breaks him down on film. Not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's going to do. His striking is world-class. His ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. Okay, everybody, here we go. The Gen versus Castillo or Castolo. I'm not sure what his name was. I think it's Stillo. Um, well, the crowd 
Bob says this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you watch film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. I didn't learn anything about him. Tonight, anywhere the fight goes, truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we Straight out of the bat, Superman around. punch, everybody. Get ready for it. This guy is a He's won six out of his last fights. Fighter. It's going to be a shame to put an end to that. Here we go. Straight out of the bat, Superman punch, fight over. That's what everybody wants to see. What is he doing? Get in the get in the octagon, mate. Your insurance is gonna last longer than you are. Get in. Right, I'm gonna finish him. Straight off the straight off the gun. Why is my reach so long? Why have I got such long arms? Okay. Come on, Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of three wins, one loss. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, three. Someone booed. I heard someone boo. God damn it. Diesel's going down. Sure. Here it comes. Mark my word. Superman punch straight off the bat if I can remember how to do it. Good old Mario. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. You ready? Let's go. Oh. As you might have heard me talking about it. And he's, che he's checking every single one of those. I need to know. Hold on. Okay. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. Oh, nice punch there by Green. That one hurt. Ooh. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Effective strike there by Green. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the bus. He's being creative in there. Effective punch there by Green. Relentless. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Tags him. Beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard. Oh, I was going for it, that finisher. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Green. Oh. God, what happened there? He's got him hurt here. Oh, what a leg kick. Just over two minutes to go and what Oh! He's hand. Oh, oh man. We've got him, surely. Green goes for the clinch here, Joe. He was stunned a moment ago. Let's see if the clinch now hits him. No, 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 no. We don't want this. We don't want this. Get up. Okay, we don't need this. Decides to get up here, Joe. Looks like the referee will step in here, yes. And motions the grounded fighter back up. Big body kick. Body kick, look at that. And he lands left a big hand. left hand there. Big Fishy body shot. shot. Body. Oh, another body kick. He hurt him with that hook. How about that shin? Second mark in our opening round. 
I've used a lot of stamina in this first round. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. We had him. We didn't finish it. Huge left hook. And we follow with punches to the face, but he was he was recovering. Take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. I liked it a lot. Keep doing what I'm doing. I got over aggressive, I think. In all honesty. in the grappling realm, in particular his submission defense. So that has been the focus in advance of this one, and he didn't just want to work with his coaches and try to show up what was perceived to be his biggest weakness. He wanted to make wholesale changes. He has left his training camp that is composed of primarily strikers, and now he's working with some of the best Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts in the world. If this fight hits the canvas... Oh, big left hand. Oh, come on. There's no need. There's no need. I do love a Superman punch, you may have noticed. Oh my lord. Okay, he's got he's got me. He's got me right here. So much Ow. From him here in round two. Took him a while. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. He tagged him again. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Man. That's it. He's out. He's out. The Superman punch is too good. The Superman punch is too damn good. There's no roundhouse kick. It was a Superman punch, you idiot. What is it with them in the kicks? Here we go. Bosh. Love it. Love it so much. God, I love a Superman punch. There we go, everybody. There we go. Look at that cut. Look at that cut. Busted him open with a Superman punch. There we go, everybody. Gary Green. Win it by knockout again. Oh, did I get knock out of the night? Is that a thing? I got over and over the Superman punch. Beautiful. Let's have a look at how we did. 100 punches thrown, 57 here. Not amazing. Sorry, 100 significant strikes. 152 thrown to his 60. Um, another knockout. More cash in the bank. Give me the money. Come on. Oh, look at all that cash. Look at all that cash. We're amazing. We've got to be moving up to the uh, to the real fights, haven't we? Thanks very much. Um, appreciate it. One hit queer from uh, from someone. Um, okay. The Chen got those hands, indeed. Look at me go. Right, okay. I think that's it for the episode. 
ladies and gents. I, uh, I'm having some fun with this, although as soon as I start getting up against reasonable opponents, I'll get my ass kicked. Um, but let's have a little look at who's coming up next. Let's recover from our fight. We've got a fight offer. Who's it going to be? Um, Lorenzo Alves. He looks mean. Undercard of uh, UFC. We've got this dude, Victor Yutkin, who um, who doesn't look like the greatest fighter, but nor do we. So we can't read too much into that. And then Noach Voss, who uh, has a five and four. He is a striker. I wonder, should we go ch chin to chin or should we go grappling? Let's go grappling. Okay. Lorenzo Alves is our next fight. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at School of Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.